I did. Um, I talked about Hassan B the other day, and when I was talking about him, I, I brought up that um, incident that happened a little over a year ago in San Clemente, where a unhoused black man with potentially some mental problems was simply trying to cross the street from a hotel uh, motel over to a 7-Eleven. Like he was literally just trying to go to 7-Eleven, but the homeless division of the Orange County Sheriff had decided that they were going to start cracking down on jaywalking. And uh, they were not, as far as I know, they were not called to the situation. Like this was a fella that was known by the local businesses. They did not feel threatened by him. And um, he was just about his business because there's there is a big homeless population in um, San Clemente and there are pockets of homeless encampments throughout Orange County so um, dude was just trying to cross street and the the two if you look at the video uh, the two officers um, unholstered their guns and had them in their hands while they were pushing the dude around in the middle of the street uh, so they were already uh, had the body posture and signaling that they were going to fire on this guy. And this guy was unarmed. He had a backpack on. He wasn't reaching for anything in his backpack. Um, they corralled him back to the side of the street that he came from. And then body slammed him into the sidewalk. Now, they are trying to, at least from what I remember last year, uh, they tried to pull up some security cam from the hotel and say, well, he was reaching for the police officer's gun. So let me present for you the obvious reason why they still shouldn't have shot. So they said, dude was trying to reach for a gun. But then they shot him in the back three times. So obviously they had a handle on that gun. But even if there was a second gun that they were reaching for, right? Like there's a second gun or something that they're reaching for, which I'd have to go back and look at the footage to see if that was the case. Then why didn't you shoot his hand? Why didn't you, instead of killing the dude, why didn't you shoot his hand and make it impossible for him to actually reach that gun? If that's what you thought he was doing, they were on top of his back. They were basically doing the same thing that happened to George Floyd, where, you know, they're, they are using overt, um, physical against this man to a point where he's struggling and he's confused. This is supposed to be the homeless division, by the way, they, they're supposed to actually understand how to work with the homeless. and. Um, many, many people within the homeless community are, um, if they were not there originally because they had mental illness, they probably have developed mental illness by being in that condition, by having to live in a situation like that. So why would you kill somebody rather than just injure them to the point that they can't? retaliate against you. This is, I mean, y'all are trained in, um, physical combat. The, the folks that you're dealing with more than likely haven't been. I'm just, I'm still trying to like grapple this in my head, still trying to grapple this in my head. Like why, why do you, why do y'all keep justifying extreme uses of violence against civilians. Why do you do this? Why do you do this? But yeah, I'm just playing it back. And also like, I, you know, I watch other, um, occasionally I drop in on other shows. I was watching Tim Black and he mentioned jaywalking. These people do know me, you know, I mean, it could be a coincidence, but what we have coincidences, coincidences like every freaking week, people bring up stuff that I talk about. People bring up stuff I talk about every week, every week. People bring up stuff I talk about. Is it a coincidence? Is it a coincidence every single week? 